वेलकम टू मैथ विथ सोमिया इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट द प्रूविंग सम प्रूव द फॉलोइंग सो व्हाट इज गिवन हियर गिवन इज कोसेकेंड थीटा माइनस कोट थीटा होल स्क्वायर व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 1 माइनस cos थीटा बाय 1 प्लस cos थीटा सो टेक द एलएचएस and reach to rhs so that is how we will prove so lhs which is left hand side my left hand side is this so write that cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square you have to keep on simplify this to reach the rhs so cosecant theta i know which is nothing but 1 by sin theta cot is cos theta by sin theta whole square is there so let us write that now we can take the lcm here this is sin theta both the side so write sin theta this is 1 minus cos theta whole square so we can give square to both of them i will get 1 minus cos theta square by sin square theta sin square theta is nothing but 1 minus cos square theta from the identity which we have done so now we will just substitute the identity and 1 minus cos square theta this is whole square divided by 1 minus cos square theta this is 1 minus cos theta whole square this is 1 minus cos square theta one can be taken as one square also still it does not change the value this is a square minus b square we know a square minus b square will give me a plus b into a minus b similarly one minus cos square theta can be written as one plus cos theta into one minus cos theta and also one minus cos theta whole square so whenever something is square what we do suppose a square we write it as a into a similarly 1 minus cos theta whole square can be written as 1 minus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta multiplying the same thing now we change this this is 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta you cancel what is left out 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta which is nothing but your rhs so this is how we will prove the sum if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon in this sum what is given it is given cos a by 1 plus sin a plus 1 plus sin a divided by cos a is equal to 2 secant a so let us go take lhs lhs is what cos a by 1 plus sin a this is 1 plus sin a divided by cos a let us take the lcm here lcm of the functions you have to just take as it is both the function now in the first fraction if you see 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a goes cos a which is there in the lcm goes to the numerator we will get cos square a similarly here cos a goes 1 plus sin a which is in the denominator here in the lcm goes to the numerator 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a this will become 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a this will give us cos square a plus 1 plus sin a whole square divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a cos square a let us keep as it is this is a plus b whole square formula so 1 square plus sin square a Plus two a b two into one into sin a one into sin a will give you two sin a only. So we write it 
1 plus sin a into cos a. 1 plus sin a into cos a. Now, we shall continue this. This sin square a, if I write first, sin square a plus this cos square a plus 1, then plus 2 sin a divided by 1 plus sin a as it is into cos a. Sin square a plus cos square a is 1 which we know if you want you can mention here because sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. You are replacing 1 here. So, here we can write it as 1 plus 1. So, this whole thing becomes 1. This one as it is plus 2 sin a divided by this is just remove this divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. This will give us 1 plus 1 2. 2 plus 2 sin a divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. 2 can be taken common factor here. So, on taking the 2 common factor, we will end up 2 common 1 plus sin a. This is 1 plus sin a here into cos a. 1 plus sin a, 1 plus sin a you cancel. 2 by cos a which can be written as 2 into 1 by cos a. 2 as it is 1 by cos a is nothing but secant a. Reciprocal of cos is secant. So, we got this. So, secant a which is nothing but your RHS. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. In this question, we have given tan theta divided by 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta divided by 1 minus tan theta which is equal to 1 plus secant theta into cosecant theta. So, let us take LHS. LHS is nothing but tan theta by 1 minus cot theta plus this is cot theta by 1 minus tan theta. Tan and cot we will write in terms of sin and cos. Tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta divided by 1 minus cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. Similarly, in this case cot, cot will give us cos by sin. And 1 minus sin theta by cos theta. Now, this one numerator I keep as it is denominator. Let us take the LCM. Nothing is there. 1 will be there. Take sin theta will be the LCM. Now, here 1 into sin theta. You will get sin theta minus cos theta. Plus, this is cos theta by sin theta. Divided by cos theta is the LCM. So, cos theta minus sin theta. Now, we can keep this as it is and we can take the reciprocal. What we will get? Sin theta by cos theta into this sin theta goes to the numerator. Here we will get sin theta minus cos theta. Similarly, here this is cos theta by sin theta into cos theta will come here and cos theta minus sin theta. This is cos theta minus sin theta. Now, 
This is sin theta into sin theta will give us sin square theta by cos theta into sin theta minus cos theta. This is plus cos square theta by sin theta. This is cos theta minus sin theta. Here we are having sin theta minus cos theta and here it is cos theta minus sin theta. I have told in my previous videos, whenever you are having A minus B, you want to write it B minus A, take the negative sign out. You can interchange the places by taking the negative sign out. So, we will do the same thing here. This one as it is sin square theta by cos theta into sin theta minus cos theta. Here I will take the negative out cos square theta sin theta. This one we interchange the places sin theta minus cos theta. So by taking the negative I interchange the Places. Now, this one sin theta minus cos theta is the common factor for me. So, we can easily take the common factor. Now, we can remove the common factor 1 divided by sin theta minus cos theta. So, here we will get 1 divided by sin theta minus cos theta as the common factor inside we left out with sin square theta by cos theta minus cos square theta by sin theta. Once again we can take the LCM here sin theta minus cos theta as it is here the LCM will give us sin cube theta minus cos cube theta. If you want to know in detail, we can get LCM will be cos theta sin theta. So, cos theta goes sin theta goes to the numerator. So, you will get sin cube theta. Here sin theta goes cos theta goes to the numerator. So, cos cube theta we are going to get. This is of the form now a cube minus b cube. So, we know the formula of a cube minus b cube. We will apply the formula. So, this is in the form of a cube minus b cube which says a minus b a square plus a b plus b square where a is sin theta for me and b is cos theta. So, we will do this. Take sin theta minus cos theta. This can be given in the bracket. Now, here this is a minus b which is nothing but sin theta minus cos theta. This LCM as it is cos theta into sin theta. This is a square plus a b plus b square. I can write b square front a b. It is one and the same. Now here, this is sin theta minus cos theta, sin theta minus cos theta will get cancelled. Now, sin square theta plus cos square theta will give us 1 plus. This is sin theta cos theta divided by cos theta sin theta. This we can write it as 1 by cos theta sin theta plus this is sin theta cos theta by cos theta sin theta. So, here cos theta and sin theta get cancelled. You are left with 1 by cos theta into 1 by sin theta plus 1. So, 1 by cos theta is nothing but secant theta this is cosecant theta 1 by sin theta plus 1. So, you can rewrite it 1 plus secant theta into cosecant theta which is the RHS. So, we can see here 
This is the RHS where we have reached. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Next sum. Here we are getting this is 1 plus secant A divided by secant A. This is equal to sin square A by 1 minus cos A. So we will start by LHS. LHS is equal to 1 plus secant A divided by secant A. Right hand side what we require sin and cos. So we know secant is nothing but 1 by cos A. And here also secant A. Write it as 1 by cos A. Now, in the numerator, we will take the LCM here. This will give us cos A plus 1 divided by cos A. This is 1 by cos A. If you take the reciprocal, what we will get? This is cos A into this is cos A by 1. So, cos A, cos A get cancelled. Left with cos A plus 1. We want 1 minus cos A in the denominator. Say multiply and divide by 1 minus cos A. So, we will change this to 1 plus cos A here. And multiply and divide by 1 minus cos A. So, here this is what we are having. 1 plus cos A and multiply and divide by 1 minus cos A into 1 minus cos A. So, here 1 plus cos A into 1 minus cos A which is A square minus B square. 1 minus cos square A divided by 1 minus cos A. 1 minus cos square A is nothing but sin square A. So, we can write this as sin square A divided by 1 minus cos A which is the RHS. Suppose if you forgotten this particular formula, what you can do? After this, 1 in the place of 1, you can write it sin square A plus cos square A minus cos square A and divided by 1 minus cos A because 1 is nothing but sin square A plus cos square A. This will get cancelled. And you will get sin square A and 1 minus cos A. The same RHS you will be reaching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching. For latest updates, don't forget to subscribe.